Hey there, how are you? I am Pavani. In this video, let's see how to set up Apache Spark along with Java 17 uh, in Windows 11 system. So first, let's see uh, what are the steps that we are going to do in this video for the installation process. So uh, for Apache Spark to run, our system got to satisfy some dependencies. Uh, one is Python and another one is Java and third one is WinUtils. Once you set up all these three things, you can run Spark on your Windows system. First step would be download and install Python 3.10. So I have already made a separate video on how to do this on Windows 11. So I am keeping the video link in the description. If you don't have Python already set up in your system, feel free to refer that video and uh, complete your installation. And then we need to download and install Java 17, which we are going to do in this video. And then we got to download Spark and download WinUtils. And we got to create separate folders for Spark and Hadoop. Bin, and you got to place the respective files that you have downloaded under these folders. And then you got to update the environment variables for Java, Spark and Hadoop. And you need to add the paths. And lastly, we can verify all the installations, whether they are successfully working or not. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. So first thing, uh, let's download and install Java. So all you got to do is uh, go to this link, oracle.com slash in slash Java slash technologies and slash downloads. Again, keeping this link in the description. So within this, go to JDK 17. And uh, before we do that, I want to explain why we are doing JDK 17. So again, this link also I will be keeping in the description, official Spark documentation. Feel free, feel free to go through. Uh, so as you see, you, you need uh, any one of these um, Java versions in your system to be installed 8 or 11 or 17 we are going to do the latest one and then for python you are gonna need any one of the versions that are greater than 3.8 we are doing it 3.10 and yeah let's go to java and uh, this link is provided in the description you gotta go into J jdk 17 under this and go to windows and go to x64 installer and go ahead and download this i will just cancel this for myself because i have already in, in, uh, downloaded and next thing you got download spark so from this link you can just go to down, click on this downloads page uh, which will redirect you to this particular page and again i'm going to give this link in the description so under http you got to just click on this link it will download your .tgz file into your system. I'm canceling this since I have already downloaded. And next, you gotta download some Hadoop dependencies. So, which you can just uh, go into this particular GitHub repository. Again, the link in the description uh, under WinUtils and Hadoop 3.3.0 and a bin folder. You gotta download two files. One is hadoop.dll. Just click on this and click on this download raw file. It will download this into your system. Canceling this since I already have this. And then, yeah, go back to bin and download this winutils.exe. You, all you gotta do is just click on this download raw file. Uh, well, I think it got downloaded twice for me. So I will just delete this too. Now uh, we have downloaded all the dependencies that we need from internet. One is Java installer and another one is spark.tgz uh, uh, archive file and hadoop.dll and winutils. First, let's go ahead and install Java in our system. Just double click on this and it will open the installer and click on yes. And go to next. And this here you can see the path. It is going to install you with Java in program file slash Java slash JDK 17 which is what we exactly need. So don't change the path. Let's continue. Click on next and it will just complete the installation for you.
let's give it some time and now it is uh, successfully installed for me so i will just closing this and i wanna verify before we move forward so open your command prompt and type in java hyphen hyphen version so yes java 17 got successfully installed for us now let's uh, extract uh, this file our spark file just click on extract all right click and click on extract all and select the same path and click on extract so this is a pretty big file as you can see it is getting extracted now uh, we extracted the file and go back to our downloads uh, here you can see this is a file folder instead of zip folder now now let's go to c drive and create a new folder called spark and one more folder called hadoop now open your downloads again and in your extracted folder open that and copy all these files or do control c or control x anything is fine now come back to the new folder we just created in C drive, which is Spark, and just paste all of these here. So now all of them are copied here, and now go back to downloads again and copy this Hadoop.dll and WinUtils files. Just copy them and come back to our c drive and within the hadoop folder that we have just created just paste them and now we have completed the steps you know download and install python install java spark download spark and download vinutils we have created the folders and pasted the respective files into there and now we got to create our environment variables for Java, Spark and Hadoop. So just open uh, environment variables. Just go to search and click on environment variables and select this edit environment variables for your account. And in here, user variables, click on new. And the name of the environment variable will be Java home and the path will be you gotta copy that from the c drive and program files and just just look for java and jdk and here we see bin folder so this is the path you gotta copy into your environment variable so just click on ok and get a new variable name and copy spark home and again variable value go to your c drive and go into spark and here you can see the bin so this is the one we need just give that as variable value and click on ok and click on new again and this time give variable name as hadoop home and your variable value will be go to c drive again and uh, hadoop going to hadoop and okay uh, there is a mistake i guess we gotta copy them into bin folder so here i am creating another folder called bin and within this bin i am pasting these two instead of directly into the hadoop so 
since here you can see the bin folder you gotta copy this value and paste that into variable value for variable name Hadoop home click on OK now we gotta edit the path so double click on this and click on new and <clears throat> for Java home you gotta add this path again I will paste them in the description so yeah let's click on new and add this one and for spark home again this one and for hadoop home add new one again and just click on ok and ok and that will be closed now we completed all the steps until here all we got to do is uh, verify our Python and Java version. Java version we have already verified and I already have my Python in my in the system. And now let's uh, verify the Spark. Give the command Spark shell. Okay, it is showing as Spark shell not recognized. So I will just close this and open it again. Now Spark shell. Yeah, this time it is working. So if you have the previous instance of command prompt open, just close that and open it again. So our Spark cluster is starting. So if you get a, a window like this, just hello, click on hello. And yeah, we got Spark opened and shell has been opened in Scala. And if you want to check the web UI, so just copy this and open it. One ninety. Uh, if you got, if you want to check the UI, you can just go into this localhost uh, hash, localhost colon four zero four zero port. So this got opened. And since you don't have any jobs running we are not getting any results here so i just close that and open the command prompt again now if you want to go into the shell in pyspark you can just give the pyspark command so now you can execute all the python or pyspark commands so yeah this is how you can set up spark in your windows 11 machine if you find the video helpful, please click the like button and if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to Fuller Decide. Thanks for watching.